Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back here to today's edition of Intuitive Angling and thanks a lot for coming by the channel to check out the video. Always appreciate that. Got a on the water video for you guys today. We're going to be talking about fishing pollen in the springtime of the year or fishing where pollen is on the water. I mean, take a look at that right there. You can see, for example, you know, lots of pollen on the water and we're going to give you guys some tips and advice on the really the best lures to fish when you got the pollen and algae blooms uh, that we have here in the springtime of the year. Also, guys, just a quick invitation. Anybody out there interested in becoming a channel member of Intuitive Angling here? Channel members get extra videos every week that aren't seen by the public and access to my personal email address for your fishing questions. You can become a member by just going to my homepage and click on the join button for information. So much appreciated with that. Okay, guys, here it is. At the time of filming the video here, we're in mid-April. I'm on Table Rock Lake today and um, I'm sneezing, My I got allergies, the pollen is super thick. I mean, take a look at how thick this pollen is right behind me on the, on the bank right here. Pollen is everywhere. And on top of that, you know, it seems like there's some type of an algae bloom going on the water. And this is sort of typical in the springtime of the year, right around when that water temperature starts getting in the low to mid 60s. Um, you know, leaves are starting to come out in the trees and this is sort of what we have. A lot of times, anytime that you've got pollen on the water in the spring, that is the time of the year the fish are spawning, which they are spawning here on Tabor Rock Lake. Now, the thing about this is when you have pollen on the water, it creates a different look and tint to the water. And I have found out personally myself that there are several different type of lures that actually work better when you have pollen on the water. I'm gonna show you what the what they are and then we're gonna talk a little bit about you know type of areas you need to fish in them in. So, I'm going to show you the lures right here. I'll take a, take hey a guys, quick look. I've laid out my three favorite lures to fish when you have a lot of pollen on the water. And the first one is a white zoom trick worm like this. Now, the thing that you're going to notice about all three of these lures I'm talking about is they all are sort of pearlish or white, and they put out a glow. So I'm trying to put this in the water here. When, you, when you've got, you know, these white, you know, type lures in the water out there, see how they sort of make a nice glow in the water like that? Guys, that is what you want any time that you have pollen in the water. These white pearlescent lures really work good. So the white trick worm is one of my favorites. The second one is like this albino mega bass mag draft. This is a really good bait. You know, when you have pollen in the water, it really stands out. And then also, I like some type of a glide bait, you know, just some type of a pearlescent glide bait. Those are the three primary ones that I use with that. They just stand out really nice in the water. And let me see if I can get this mag draft out here a little bit. Sure to show you here. But uh, you sort of see that going through the water there. See how that sort of glows in the water a little bit? And I think this is necessary for a couple different reasons. Yeah, the camera work all over the place. That's what you get with the uh, low tech intuitive angling here. But anyway, guys, what I have found out is when you have algae blooms and you got pollen blooms in the springtime of the year, that those lures that put out some type of a glow, the albinos, the whites, the pearls, all that type of stuff is really good. Also, a soft plastic stick bait. Let me get in the tackle box here and I'll show you another color that works good. Also, guys, if you're interested in getting any debates, I'll put my, uh, as usual, my tackle warehouse link is in the description. If you guys want to use that link, that's a good way to support the channel and also get you some baits here. So, sort of show you another one of my favorite ones. My, one of my favorite ways to catch them in pollen is wacky rigging, some type of a bright stick bait like this, like some type of a pearl or white. You can take this and throw it, you know, in around those spawning areas, just put it on a little number one Gamagatsu G finesse hook. And, but this, the white pearlescent like that is really good because a lot of people will use, you know, green pumpkins all the time, but when you have this type of pollen in the water, you know, that white works a little bit better. So the other thing, it's like, where do you want to fish at? Most of the time, when you have pollen and algae blooms in the, in the springtime of the year, that is a signal that the fish are spawning. And this is the type of places that you want to fish. You want to fish the back of the coves, back two thirds part of the cove. You can see right here where we're at, you know, there's the main lake there. And then you got the back of the cove, right here another back in there that's all you have to do is some of the easiest fishing of the year just run back in the coves off the main creeks get about two-thirds of the way back in these coves and just start with first fishing your way all the way through 
Now the techniques that I use, a lot of it depends on the weather and the wind that we have. If, if we have wind and say if the wind is 15, 20 miles an hour, you can't beat that mega bass mag draft and also the big glide bait. Um, they will bite that really good right when those fish are around bedding. But if the wind's not blowing and it's pretty calm like it is right here, that's when I'll go a little bit more finessey and I'll go to the, uh, you know, the wacky rig setup and the floating worm. That floating worm is a killer, man. It, the, the thing about the floating worm, guys, is if it'll, it may not catch them the best, but it'll show you if the fish are there. A lot of times those bass this time of year, when there's algae and pollen on the water, they'll follow a floating worm and not bite it but you can at least, you can throw back in there with like a wacky rig or shaky head or something like that and catch them. But the main thing guys is just go, when you, know, when you see this pollen on the water, like you have right behind me here, you know, just go to your whites, your pearls, something that puts off that glow in the water and those fish really react to it pretty good. So anyway, I hope it helps out guys. We'll talk later.